Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Sassy greetings. Do you love them? I love them. And I happen to have sassy friends, so I created a stamp set with, hmm, well, they're kind of sassy. And I'm going to share how I used my sassy greetings too today on a card project. I'm also going to use the cool geometric heart builders die and I've got sort of a fun peekaboo, more or less, a peekaboo style for you too enjoy my sassy greetings card project coming up next today's card project is all about this new stamp set i created for simon says stamp called sassy insides 2. this was inspired by one of my two best friends well actually both my best friends who are both very sassy uh, but this one in particular i hope i die first because living in a world without you would totally suck and text me all the time are literally things we say to each other almost on the daily. And I do think this is really fun. Your sassy friends will get this. For example, you've seen me at my worst and been there for me every time. Well, almost every time I know I can be fairly obnoxious. Uh, if I ever tell you that things happen for a reason, please punch me in the face. Uh, you never have to pretend everything's okay with me. I mean, you'd never pull it off. You're a terrible actor. Thank you for supporting my questionable choices. You know, you're kind of getting the, you know, the gist. Being friends means never having to say, thanks for taking care of me while I was hammered. The answer may not be found in a bottle of wine, but when has that ever stopped us? So these are sassy. They're not going to be for everyone. You know, this isn't going to go on your Christmas card. I guess that's my point. I'm also going to be using one of the dies from the Geometric Heart Builder that was designed by my friend, Laura Basson. This is super cool. And scraps of paper. I have an idea. I have an idea and I think it's going to be cute. I have a die to cut out a small panel and some white cardstock and I, I think it's going to work. So let's get started with our die cutting. This is a great way to use scraps. So you know, you got your scraps. Why not just put them to work? I'm going to use this single die and I'm going to cut this out from every single piece of my scrap paper. And the nice thing is if I play my cards right and I save all the scraps, I can make multiple cards in different rainbow orders, if that makes sense. Actually, did I lose that one up there? No, come on now. Come on, get out there. So that's what I'm going to do. I was oh, like doing surgery. I am going to do this for every single scrap here in the pile. I'm not going to show you that because I think, I think, you know, we know. So let's get all these cut and move on to the next step. While I've got the die cut machine out though, after I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this guy here because I need a little panel and you'll see why, because we're going to, we're going to make a little flip up panel on our card. And I think, oh, <laughs> and I think it could be kind of cute, but I, I need the panel cut. And so I use my A2 layers dies to cut this out. And this is also a piece of Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 80 pound, not the 110. That's what I'm going to use for my card base. So I'll also set this aside. So I've already started to bring in each piece in this heart in rainbow order. Now this is like a fine, how many of you remember the game Operation? Do you remember that game? When they had to take out ranged ankle and nobody knew what the heck a ranged ankle was. I swear it was, remember, take out ranged ankle. Well, that's what I feel like right now. And that's why I thought I'd grab my craft pick because it allows you to kind of wiggle and place. Oh gosh, get up there now. Oh, see, we're getting, Okay, because what I want to do is have this perfectly lined up and I'm using my grid mat to do this, right? Because then you can get this spacing, you know, pretty close to equal, right? Bring up this last little guy and it's going to make my, oh, wait, oh, come on back. It's all in the preparation. I don't want that. Let's see if I can get this carefully lined up side to side. Oh my goodness, I keep bumping it. Get up there. That's the point. Okay. I think that's pretty good, right? You kind of see how this is working. This side's there, that side's there. And I just want to point out, these are all the leftovers. So all of this could go to be making many of these. Now, would I be doing this in a 
mass production. Probably wouldn't do this, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab some post-it tape. This is very much a Laura Basson technique, right? I learned this from, from watching her and I will most, you know who she is. I'm most definitely gonna link below to Laura, but we go boop like that. And then I, I, I guess you can boop things. Then you have these all in the right place. And what I can do now is add tape to the back of all of them. So I have this sort of thin Derice strips. And I think what I'll do, I'm gonna cut some of them in half, take some of them off, pull them apart. And then I'm just going to, you know, layer them down so that what I can do is pop this up in the center of the little panel that I'm going to create. So now you can see heart in place, right? And just all held together with tape. Now, I am going to create a little panel here that is going to fold over on the top of the card. So I think I'm just gonna do it right here and I'm going to make it just a half an inch fold, but I need some strong adhesive. So I'm going to use some score tape here and I'll just pop a piece on. I can never find the edge here. I'll just go like that, go edge to edge, tear it off. I'm going to put it, yeah, maybe more, right, just right in the center, right in the center for now. And I think, I think that's gonna be just fine for what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead, fold this down, and I'm actually gonna use my other bone folder. I use, I use this one to really get the good press here. And that way I have a little panel that's going to go on my card. So let's do the card base while we're at it. And you could do any color card base, right? It would be cute to pick up one of the colors from that cardstock, but you know me, I love a nice white card base, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Got the card scored, not going to, not gonna fold it just yet because what I want to do here is I want to figure out the placement of my little panel. And do I have any purple tape here? Or, okay, so let's do that. So this is going to pop up and guess what we're gonna put on the front? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, let's grab my Misty, open this up, pop in the Misty. All right, let's just get it right here. And I'll just, you know, pop my magnet here just because again, this is for placement of the greeting. And the, the greeting I'm going to use here on the inside is I hope I die first. This is living without you would, would does it say totally? Suck? Yeah, living in a world without you would totally suck. That way, when it is lifted, you are going to see that in the proper place. So I'll just pick this up like that. And now I'll grab my ink. So of course, what we do now is we just, we lift up our little, our little flap because we're not going to be using that flap. I might, I might need that tape. So you never know. And what I will do here is I'm just going to go ahead and ink up my stamp with Simon Intense Black, just because I want it to be a really simple, oh, let's get that out of the way. My workspace is, uh, well, it's a little crowded sometimes in here. All right, I'm gonna bring this down and press this into place. And probably one impression will be just fine. Like that, lift it up. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do that twice. I want it to be nice and inky. Seriously, let's just do a little extra press. And that looks great. So that is the outside of the card. Now, I figure while we're here, let's stamp the inside as well. You never have to pretend everything's okay with me. My best friend who's getting this knows exactly who she is. So now we take this, we flip it, right? Cause we're just, we're just gonna stamp on the inside too. So, you know, pop it right in the center and I pick that up. Now I haven't stamped anything with this yet. So I'm just gonna rub my finger over it to remove that coating like that. And now we'll ink this up again with the Simon Intense Black, bring it down, press, and I might do it again, just again to get that great second impression. It's really, it's kind of your personal taste, right? Sometimes you want it to be a perfect stamped image. Sometimes it's fun to have it look a little, well, you know, a little stampy. 
but that is the inside of the card. And I'll get ready. I'm just going to let that dry for a second because it's the intense black. And then we'll move on. Got to fold this over, right? And here's the front of my card. What's kind of fun about this is it's, it's a one layer card, right? There's not too much going on. But I have created a little interactive little, you know, little piece to it. And actually, you know what? I'm going to tape this shut just while I'm doing this part. And you know, I could even just use a, a little piece of washi on this, but we'll see. Okay, so greeting is in place. Again, used a lighter weight, and I'm gonna, again, give this more of a push. Really want it to stay as flat as it possibly can, okay? So the 80 pound. Now, let's release the score tape. I'm gonna try really hard to put this on straight. I don't, you know, you never know. You never know how it's gonna go. I think I pressed so hard, I don't know if I have a release angle. Come on now, come on. This is how I do it. If you can't ever find it, you just kind of keep going scraping back and forth. There we go. And then release. All right, I probably should have had some here at the corner. You know, just to make sure, I'm just gonna fill in that edge with Dot Runner because I don't want it to come up. So I just used my my Simon Dot Runner. Okay, let's just stand up and again, center this, right? Visually, I'm just looking at the top, the bottom. I think we, I think we have that. It's a little tricky because once I get it down, that sucker is not going anywhere. I think, okay, it's not perfectly in the middle, but you know what? What is the phrase? I have no idea. Now, this is a little more see-through, so you could, you know, you could do a darker, Oh, I got I got adhesive come let's see here there's my adhesive eraser my mat needs a lick and a promise there we go right now you lift it up I hope I die first because living in a world without you would totally suck I am going to tape this down let's take the backers off okay just gently lift them be careful though because you want to just knock things over you know you don't want to lift off this uh post-it note. You want to, that's, that's the thing. It's holding it in place. So you're taking these off like that. I'm just going to put little dabs on each one, stripe it across because I don't, I want to have a little playtime with this guy. You know, I don't want, I don't want this sweet little heart to feel like it has to go exactly where I put it. Get down there. I'm going to visualize the center that looks straight. My, my post-it note is not perfectly straight, so it's a little tricky, but I'm gonna look from side to side, right? I press that down. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna in my mind say, I think it's straight. I don't think I need to really test this because I think that's close enough. We're pressing, it's not perfection. Give it the little, the little presser rooney. And now let's see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Pick it up here gently, gently, G oh, that one didn't cut. Okay, let's let's commit and just say you gotta stay. You, you're gonna have to get a little, you're gonna have to get a little more aggressive here. I might have to reposition that, how's that? I might have it wrong. Yeah, you know what? I need another tiny piece here, so let's do that real quick. Cause for some reason, this one is not placing. So I'm gonna cover that up. You know, some, <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, it's not stuck to that at all. I'm gonna get another little tiny piece here. Now let's let's make the magic. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make the magic. And that one I don't I don't need glue on. That's gonna be close enough. Like that. And press it down. Ah, so fun, right? Now, what do you have? Well, you have this cute little card. Let's uh Let's gently lift this up so we don't actually, you know, harm anything. You have this card that's a pop-up card, right? When they take it out of the envelope, this will pop up. They'll lift it up. I hope I die first because living in a world without you would totally suck. And then, of course, let me untape this. You get your other greeting inside. You never have to pretend everything's okay with me. You'd never pull it off. You're a terrible actor. So I do think this is fun. And even if you had this like sitting on your counter, you know, this little friend would pop up. Isn't that fun? 
taking something like this, making a fun little pop-up peekaboo just out of a regular piece of cardstock that you cut and scored, and you are good to go. All supplies for this card project can be found linked below the video, and I'll see you back here again with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.